Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at a portable energy storage system. This is the DJI Power 1000 Power Station. DJI sent me the Power 1000 and some of its various accessories for review. What is the Power 1000 Power Station? It's a large portable battery with built-in outlets and charging ports. I see various use cases where this could be useful, for instance on job sites, for camping and recreational use, travel and off-grid living, and for emergency preparedness as a backup power source for your home. Today we'll go over the features and setup of the DJI Power 1000 and test it with a variety of devices. Portable batteries like this have come a long way, and the Power 1000 offers lots of useful options. The Power 1000 can stably output 2200 watts with up to 2600 watts max output. It will run consistently at full power until the battery is drained. As far as household items, there's been nothing in my home that the Power 1000 can't run. It can also power several items at once up to 2200 watts. During use, the battery gives real-time feedback of how much energy it's outputting and the remaining battery life. It's actually pretty cool to see all the real-time feedback the battery displays during use. The battery capacity is 1,024 watt-hours, and it uses LFP batteries, lithium iron phosphate. LFP batteries have become popular in new electric vehicles for their longer life and safety benefits. LFP batteries generally have a longer cycle life over traditional lithium ion batteries. The Power 1000 is rated at 4,000 charging cycles, which DJI equates to 10 years of regular use. LFP batteries experience a slower rate of capacity loss compared to other batteries. They're also inherently safer than other batteries, as they're fire resistant and unlikely to overheat. Let's take a look at the Power 1000 and some of the additional accessories available for it. Right on front of the power station, there's several outlets. There's two 120 volt outlets, as well as four USB ports, two USB-A and two USB-C. Each USB-C port can output up to 140 watts, so it can quickly recharge things like laptops and other electronics. Next to those is the recharging port, with the option to recharge the Power 1000 itself at either 600 or 1200 watts, and it includes a heavy-duty power cord for recharging. The product is capable of recharging very quickly, recharging from empty in 70 minutes, or it can recharge from 0 to 80% in 50 minutes. On the right, there's two proprietary ports that can fast charge DJI drones, but these ports are also used for additional DJI accessories. On both sides of the battery, there are vents, an intake and exhaust to keep the batteries cool. The cooling system runs very quiet. Along with the power station itself, there's a variety of additional accessories available for the Power 1000. The optional accessories I have here include a Bluetooth dongle that unlocks the use of the DJI app and wireless updates. The app is cool because if you're not near the Power 1000, you can still easily monitor it and check real-time usage and remaining battery life. Another additional option is the 12-volt adapter, allowing you to use any car or camping accessories you'd like to run with it. Both of these are very affordable, around $22 and $25 each. The Power 1000 can be expanded upon by daisy-chaining additional batteries together. DJI's expandable batteries are a little more expensive than the base power station at around $1,150, but they have double the energy capacity at 2,048 watt-hours. It's a heavier battery, but retains the same small footprint, and they can be stacked on top of one another however you'd like. Included with the expandable battery is a thick cable that connects the batteries together. The cable can be tethered down a little to reduce the bulk off the front. If you add an expandable battery, a software update is required to get everything cooperating, and for that I had to connect the Power 1000 to my computer to update it. After that, all updates have been wireless via the Bluetooth dongle. Deluxe carrying cases are available for the Power 1000 and expandable batteries. They're high quality and are great for storing them when not in use or when traveling. The case has access panels to get to the controls and two panels on the side that open up for the ventilation. The Power 1000 can be used while in the case, just make sure the side panels are open for the vents. There's another really cool option available, the Car Fast Charger and Solar Charging Upgrade. The Car Fast Charger includes a cable that connects to the battery terminals of your RV or vehicle and a cable that connects to the Power 1000. This allows fast charging the batteries from your vehicle so you can keep using the power station even when you're not near an electrical outlet to recharge it. Finally, there's the available solar panel. It's very portable and unfolds and sets up with optional kickstands to angle it towards sunlight. This particular solar panel requires one more adapter to connect to the fast charger, and unfortunately I'm still waiting for that adapter, so I wasn't able to test it at the time of filming this video. The fast charger is designed to connect with other compatible solar arrays as well. The portable solar panel recharges the Power 1000 at up to 100 watts, so it's much slower recharging than just plugging the unit in to recharge, but once you have the kit, you can recharge off-grid at no additional cost. Now let's test out the Power 1000 kit with various products. An area where this could be really useful would be job sites where you don't have convenient access to electricity. So you could easily use this larger battery to recharge power tool batteries, you could use it to run appliances, and anything like that that you would need 
uh, lights when you're working on a job site. So I've got here a couple batteries, let's plug them in. And you can see here how much electricity it's using to recharge the battery. And let's put this one on. That's jumping up now, and as you can see, it's really not using very much electricity. And it looks like uh, you still have four hours of battery life recharging batteries back to back. So you could recharge several batteries with this. If you use the extendable battery, you can triple all these numbers. So it should be able to recharge batteries uh, for hours and hours, and you could probably do dozens of them. Along with the two outlets, right on the front, you have four USB ports built in, two USB-A and two USB-C. And then you can use this to recharge all of your uh, favorite gadgets. So I've got my watch and my tablet connected to it right now. And now they're both are charging uh, at a higher speed. It's using 29 watts of electricity to recharge my iPad and my watch. Recharging, this doesn't use very much power. So you can do this dozens of times on even just the one without the extra expandable battery connected to it. Of course, you can use this to power anything. You can use this to run everyday appliances. So right next to this, I have the Shark Fan. And what's cool about this fan is that it is rechargeable and cordless as well. Right now, the Power 1000 is outputting six watts of electricity, and that's to recharge the battery in this fan. The fan's a hybrid though. So on top here, and you'll see that it's using, I'm gonna power this up. I'm gonna turn this on full blast. And right now at full power, it's still only outputting 32 watts of electricity. And according to this, it can run this fan for 16 hours. That's pretty great. So that's amazing. So little things like this, uh, it can run indefinitely. Right now it's saying that it could run this fan at low speed for 31 hours. All right, here's another gadget that I really like. And this is another one that would be useful to run in the event of an emergency. This is Shark's air purifier heater fan. It's a multifunctional air purifier, heater, and fan. So let's power this up. And we're gonna turn on the heat on this and set it to full blast. And it, it has a remote that magnetically hangs out on the top of it. At full blast, this thing's pulling almost 1400 watts of electricity. With the heater, it's a bit of a power hog, but portable heaters are. Right now it's saying you, I could get a half hour at 82%. So that means 38, 40 minutes at full blast, but you could run this at lower settings and get more battery life. If you had the expandable battery with the Power 1000, you could get a couple hours of life using this as a heater for your home. Let's turn it back to just being an air purifier. You can see with the heat off, that turns <laughs> that turns the electricity way, way down. Right now it's in auto mode and it just goes down to standby. Since the, since the air isn't that dirty at the moment, it's only using six watts of electricity as an air purifier and you could run it for over a day. You could run this for a day and a half just as a standalone air purifier at least. Now let's test out a gadget or two with the expandable battery connected. Wow, that uses, that coffee pot uses a surprising amount of electricity, 1300 watts. But at 1300 watts, you'd get two hours worth. Of course, this will be done making the pot of coffee in 10 minutes. But let's see what kind of battery life we have after this is all finished. It's now done brewing the pot of coffee. It ended up using 10% of the total battery life uh, between both batteries. But now that it's just keeping the pot of coffee warm, it's only using 124 watts and it says that it can do so for 16 hours. Now let's test another kicking, cooking gadget that I imagine is going to be pretty power hungry in use, my Instant Pot. Plug that in. And what we're going to do, I've just got water in this and we're just going to set this to pressure cook for 10 minutes and we'll see how much battery life that uses. 1000 watts of electricity, but even right now it's saying between both, you could run the Instant Pot for two hours straight. And I'm going to let this get up to pressure and uh, do its thing and then we're going to see what kind of battery life we have after this is done cooking the equivalent of a meal. I like how much feedback that this gives you in real time. So just the additional battery is outputting 700 watts of the 1000 watts that the entire thing's using right now to run this Instant Pot. All right, now this is interesting too. Now that it's up to pressure, and I can actually hear the, um, the release leaking a little bit. It's just water in it right now, but I probably should have cleaned that before I did all of this. But now it's using no electricity. Uh, who would have thought? So I, I would have guessed it would have kept a little bit to maintain. All right, the Instant Pot's now all done and it only used an additional 6% of electricity. So I think bang for your buck in terms of how much battery it used for how much it can do, uh, the Instant Pot would be a great choice. Surprisingly efficient little gadget. I wasn't expecting that because the coffee maker used way more power. This is probably the kitchen gadget I have in my home that uses the most electricity. Oh, we might max out. It tops out at 2200 watts. It's preheating right now, 
And the, once it's preheated, I'm curious to see if the electricity amount's gonna drop down. But even this, you could use this for a half hour. If you had the expandable battery up to it, you could use this probably an hour and 20 minutes or so. The Power 1000 would also be useful in the event of an emergency if you lose power. And right now I have this plugged into my chest freezer. Right now this is plugged into a power strip and the power strip has a couple other appliances plugged into it that are just on standby. But even that, including the chest freezer, it's only using 33 watts of electricity uh, outputting to take care of all of this. You can have the Power 1000 run your fridge or your chest freezer or both, and it's gonna be able to do it for hours and hours. We're gonna test all kinds of stuff with this. So now I'm gonna see if that battery can do an entire load of laundry. So right now it's just filling up. It says that it has here uh, 31 hours of battery life remaining at this state, but it's only using six watts. So a pretty uh, energy efficient appliance, this washing machine. Right now the washer's agitating. It's using 476 watts of electricity and it says it can do this for one hour, which should be more than enough time to finish this load of laundry. It's now doing the first spin cycle and that definitely uses the most electricity of the entire wash cycle. And it says that it can do this for still about an hour. So it's gonna have plenty of uh, battery life to get through a single load of laundry. The washer just finished and the Power 1000 still has 65% of its battery life left. That means you could do approximately three loads of laundry with just this one battery and you could do laundry all day if you have the expandable battery connected. So there you have it. The DJI Power 1000 does exactly what it sets out to do very well. It can run any common 120 volt household appliance or electronics without any issue at all. Everything I tested with it worked great. This has a high wattage output, so it can run anything necessary at full blast until the battery is drained, or run multiple products at once as long as the power usage doesn't exceed the max available output. The product feels well made, and DJI says you can expect a decade of use out of the LFP batteries. I like the real-time feedback the Power 1000 gives and how the power station is expandable with extra batteries and accessories available for more energy storage and recharging options. Funnily enough, when filming part of this video, it was storming outside. A great example of when this would be useful to have in case of an emergency, but there's a ton of applications where this could prove handy. The Power 1000 itself tends to sell for between $700 to $1,000, and the extra accessories are all available on DJI's website. The expandable batteries are a bit more expensive at around $1,150, but greatly expand the available energy, and you can daisy chain multiple DJI batteries together. This will be useful for me to have for work and travel, recreational use, and just in case my home loses power, I can easily use it to keep the lights on and whatever I want working. I always enjoy reading your comments. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing to help the channel grow, and don't hesitate if you have any questions. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.